Hi, I'm Mark LaRousse from The Unconventionalists, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about why the world needs you to find your voice. Welcome back to the show. My name is Mark Roost and I'm the founder and host of The Unconventionalists and the creator of The Impact Accelerator. Every week I release a video on how to stand out, grow your audience and establish yourself as an authority in your field without sounding douchey or sleazy. If that sounds like it's right up your street, make sure to subscribe to this channel by hitting the button below. In today's digital world, it's easy to see how we've all become Generation Beige. And what I mean by Generation Beige is that we're afraid of speaking our truth and speaking up in public, especially online. And that's because over the years, we've got accustomed to only sharing the showreel highlights of our lives to our followers, to our friends, to our family online. And as a result, we're a little bit ashamed of the things that aren't picture perfect, or we're not quite sure if we say something, we might get a response. Another kind of response one, not like a like or a positive comment or a smiley emoji. No, like you suck or you're a piece of shit. And I get it, it's scary and it feels really vulnerable to show the world who we really are and what we really believe in. But here's the thing, there is no way in hell you can stand out from the crowd if you're not willing to speak up about what you believe in. Think about any charismatic leader who you look up to. Chances are they took their message out into the world, they marched into the streets, they did whatever they could to be heard and to share their message. Not because it was about them, it's very rarely, if ever, about the person sharing the message. In a previous video, I talked about the importance of your story and how it connects you to the heart of your potential audience. And yet, speaking up and standing up for what you believe in isn't necessarily about you. It's about what you're trying to create into the world. It's about the impact you're trying to generate. Here's what I mean by that. When I gave my TEDx talk in Cardiff, the single biggest learning I got from that is that it wasn't about me. It was about the message that I was trying to give as a gift to the audience. I had 500 people in that room. How did I want them to walk away changed after hearing my talk? It wasn't about me, about how amazing I was or about all the awards I'd won. No, it was about what I wanted them to connect with because if they could connect to that, then I had done my job. It wasn't about them liking me. And that's where most people go wrong. My friend Tomas Vitoka often says that the problem is that people wanna be liked more than they wanna be respected. So here's my question to you. What are you afraid to let the world know about what you stand for or what you believe in? Here's a little challenge for you that you can do right now. Post in the comments below this video something that you've seen that upsets you, something that you're mad about, something that you want to see change, something that you believe in, something that's helped you and transformed your life that you would like others to know about. This is not about spamming. This is not about hating. This is not about trolling people. This is about giving you permission to own what you stand for, what you believe in, and to share that with the world. Because it's like a muscle. The more you do it, the more comfortable you feel like it. And trust me, what the world needs is to hear your voice and to hear your story. But in order for you to do that, you need to be willing to go out there and share it. If you enjoyed today's video, please share it with your friends and ask them to subscribe. It tremendously helps to grow the channel. Thank you so much. And remember, your message has the ability to change someone's life and it has the ability to change yours, but only if you have the courage to own it and to share it. I'll see you next time.